About a month ago, I went to a super intimate class with Kim Kardashian's makeup artist Mario Dodanovic. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but moving on. He's the man behind her infamous look, her smoky eye, her contour cheekbones and her nude lips. We spent the whole day with him showing us exactly how to get her look, and if you fancy this in a bit more detail, I've done a full blog post on it, which I'll link below, that features all the tips and pictures. But for now, I'm just going to recreate how he showed us to contour and highlight like he does for Kim. Starting with concealer, which is a crucial part to the look as it really brightens up the under eye area and highlights the face. Mario's rules for concealer are always use a shade two shades lighter than your skin colour so it adds a really brightening and highlighting effect. And two, he always uses a cream formula first and then a liquid formula on top and blends them together with a beauty blender sponge. If you are using a beauty blender sponge, he says the best way to use it is damp, and it definitely is, I've tried a lot of ways. I normally run mine under cold water for a bit, give it a little squeeze, get out the excess water, and then squeeze it again in a towel just to make sure it's damp, not wet. Starting with concealer, which is a really crucial part to the under eye area, as it really brightens up and highlights the face. Starting with the concealer on the inner corner of the eye and taking that all the way out to the edge of the brow and then down to the side of the nose and filling in that little triangle first. Mario then packs the liquid on top of the cream to double the effect. He said he uses Makeup Forever Lift Concealer but I'm actually using the Giorgio Armani High Precision because I love it. As soon as the concealer is applied, apart from looking a little bit weird, you also notice that it looks a bit brighter just because anything that's lighter than the skin comes towards you. Taking the damp beauty blender sponge to blend everything together, I kind of use bouncing and tapping motions to really mesh the concealer well with the skin. It does take a while, but the result is a really seamless, flawless finish. Now onto the powder to set the concealer in place. Mario said his favourite powder was the Ben Nye Banana Powder, which is a really funny looking yellow loose powder. His tip to set the concealer with powder was to pour some of the loose powder into the palm of your hand, take the sponge, dab it in the loose powder and then get rid of any excess. He said it was really important to press the sponge into the skin without rubbing to set everything in place. After that's finished, bronzing comes up next, and Mario's top tips for bronzer was to one, use a bit of a reddish colour as opposed to an orangey colour, and two, use a shade that's matte. He said he really liked this Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush, which he actually gave it to us in our goodie bags, which was really nice. He says it widens to a point, so it's really easy to bronze up the face with this. I'll normally add my bronzer along my hairline, down my cheeks, around my jaw and down my neck to add an overall glow. Okay, on to the contouring. Mario says he always uses the Smashbox bronzer to do this, but I really like using MAC Harmony blush, just simply because it's a really cold colour so it looks like a really natural shadow. His tip for contouring was to imagine a line going from your pupil down to the bottom of your face and don't pass that imaginary line with your contour. Starting at the top of the ear and bringing the powder down just to enhance where your natural cheekbone would be. To highlight the cheeks, Mario created a bespoke highlighter for Kim called I Am Glam. It's a really beautiful golden shimmer shade. It's not the most subtle, but it's really fantastic and photographs beautifully. A really good dupe for this would be Sleek Glow. Normally with a highlighter, I'll take a small brush sweep it along the high points of my cheekbones, underneath my brow bone, and in my inner tear duct of my eye to highlight. Lastly comes blush, and Mario did mention that he likes MAC blushes, so I had a peek around my collection and I found this one, MAC Style, which is a lovely peach with a kind of frosty finish. I actually find it really helps aid to that kind of overall bronze look and really livens up the face. I'll normally take a fluffy brush, this one's from RMK, and I'll just sweep this along the cheeks. I realise that this is a lot of makeup to wear on a day to day basis, which is why I kind of reserve this look for special occasions, going out with some friends or a birthday party or something like that, put on a good pair of heels, pack all my essentials in my clutch and I'm good to go. But what I do find with this look is that it just photographs so beautifully, adds a really kind of useful, uplifted look to the face. 
I hope you enjoyed watching me cake myself in concealer. And here is the part where I tell you what to do. There are three things. Are you ready for this? <laughs> You're going to, one, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Two, leave me a comment or tweet me. My Twitter name is just at Amelia Leanna underscore. If you want to see any videos from me, I'm thinking about doing a smoky eye and maybe a what's in my bag. But if there's anything else you can think of that you'd like to see, let me know. And then three, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. This is Duke, come to say bye. Say bye, Duke. All right, that's it from us for today. I better go because Duke is currently eating my lip gloss. Thanks for watching. Bye.